taking over the streets. We work it. Working this city exclusively on streets 94. Five. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays. Situation Super and single. the game is talking about he's single on Instagram. So it's only right that they team up and host a nightclub together. That's a, a nice club, check. A club called True in L.A. Mm -hmm. And they were spotted together in some pictures looking really cozy, dancing up on each other. Twerking, I seen it twerking. I thought she was her, his personal trainer. No, no, no. He was training her. Oh. Well, actually, he, he was training her brother. And we know that didn't work out because he's still he a fat little again? husky. Boy, that boy fat. He got huskier. He got husky. Yeah. He got some cute socks, though. He got, like, a sock line out or whatever. Okay. All right. Well, we have the pictures up on streets945atl.com if you want to see those pictures of Chloe in the game looking more than friends. Uh, Dr. Dre is reportedly suing, suing his former label Death Row Records for $3 million. Uh, it's all back pay. 676000 for mechanical royalties, mm -hmm. $1 million for artists producer royalties and gotta one million that. for digital sales gotta have that too he is also seeking funds from a bonus he expected a couple bonuses are always needed it, good luck with that i mean who over there is making money to pay that <laughs> i don't know i mean i guess they're great getting his royalties but i mean i don't know he all don't right need, he need all the money deb and her son waka flocka uh joined together to officially launch b100 it's a new internet radio station pretty cool yeah uh it's a soft launch happened november 2013 and they're currently planning the launch the official launch in spring this year uh the music site is to inspire and strengthen and promote independent artists dope and it's for networking as well so i think that's very cool great uh, great great future thing right there. is reportedly going to aim for a large showcase to unveil his highly anticipated sophomore album and the festival will be at south by southwest so we'll be out there, heavy commission. Remember, the biopic about Jimi Hendrix is also going to be premiering at South by Southwest with Andre 3000 and that. So I guess great, that's going to be a Great platform. event out there, man. Are we going, Holly? We all should go. <laughs> Austin, Texas, get ready. That's, that's your way of saying I'm going. So if y'all want to go with me, yeah, you know. Everybody should go. <laughs> all right, coming up next, Gabrielle Union. She's talking about prenups and Dwayne Wade and all that good stuff. I got that coming up next. Holiday season live streets 94.5. I'm just living, baby. All right. Even though Gabrielle Union has been going through some stuff with Dwayne Wade, you know. Oh, yeah. He had a break baby and all of that. Break baby. <laughs> it's still on the up and up. They're still engaged. And she's talking about a couple things that's going on with her. She's speaking about her mistakes that she made in her last marriage because she's been married before and mm -hmm. also whether or not they're going to get a prenup. And I'm divorced, so clearly I've made a ton of you know mistakes before. For this marriage, the biggest difference between this and the last marriage uh, will be a prenup. When you have your own stuff, you don't need to worry about anybody else's stuff. Right. So everyone should go into the relationship knowing I'm here for you and you're here for me. And the reality is I've never seen Dwayne balance a checkbook. I gotta protect my stuff. Mm. <laughs> it sounds like she's being shady saying like her last husband may have you know got over a little bit without the prenup because she insisted that this prenup is her idea it's not Dwayne's idea so apparently maybe in her last marriage that uh football player that she was Ooh, with yep might have got a little extra money or something eh, out of her she's just loving baby <laughs> she's not gonna make that mistake again and she also says that her fiance is the executioner when it comes to the list of people that are on the wedding guest list he's going to be making the cuts even if it's a cousin anybody if they, they're not super down with them they're not going to be there oh wow okay. if they've ever tweeted something negative <laughs> or maybe cut. reported the news and it wasn't in her favor oh cut mm, you, you might not be on it's crazy. it ain't nothing cut that mm, off ain't nothing to cut off all right streets 94 5 atl.com for those pictures of chloe and the game working looking, out together looking you know buff doing a nay nay <laughs> <laughs> Looking built together. <laughs> All right, Ollie. <laughs> yeah. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holiday.